got to watch that wing though. I'm going to come back this direction. And I say I've got to watch that wing. Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop where every Friday we do a wood turning tutorial for wood turners just like you. Today we're going to turn this really sweet looking little little ring bowl or ring minder that's got uh, that'll hold a ring or two and an earring or two and who knows it just it's a great gift and it just might pave the way for you to get that bigger lathe you're looking for at least uh, uh, another another gouge let's get started so I started with a cylinder of Bradford pear that I'd rounded uh, a while back it's fairly dry and I decided I'd cut it in half on a bandsaw which I did and now the, the trick is to find the center uh, I scribed several lines and had a somewhat difficult time. Then, of course, it dawned on me, you know, that's what this center finder is for. I just place it in there and uh, align the, the circles as best I can, and then that's the center, because this has gone a little bit oval. And then I mark it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this uh, onto a glue block so I get maximum use of the wood because it's just barely long enough. Uh, and I'm going to mark that with this, this center by putting this in here and I can mark it. Now the first thing I gotta do is put some glue on there and then I'm gonna glue this up. So I'm gonna use some medium medium CA. Thick CA would do, thin would not. So I apply it liberally. Apply CA liberally. Put that point down in there and then all I've gotta do is bring this down. Go ahead and take this out. I may go ahead and uh, put this on the lathe. Actually, I think I'm just going to put a brick on top. I find a lot of uses for a brick that I've wrapped in duct tape for, for a weight, and I'll just lay that on top, and that ought to hold it in pretty good contact. And then I'll just put one more seam around the edge. Okay, we've taken that block, we've glued up with a little CA. I've let it rest overnight because it was late last night, didn't want to finish. We can kind of test this thing. We just kind of make sure it's firm. Uh, these, spin, these threaded uh, glue blocks are just real handy. Uh, you can watch this episode here. You can watch this episode I've got on the information icon on showing how I make these with a beel tap. So I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to bring up tailstock support just because I can. And then, of course, first thing we're going to do, this thing has been quite a while since uh, this thing was turned. I don't, don't remember how long, but I think the wood's fairly dry. So we're just going to uh, use a roughing gouge and just, just round it off just a little bit. Just true it up. Easy does it. Now this is going to be a little ingrain bowl with a spike in the middle for the uh, ring holder or ring minder. And as a sample, I'm kind of using this little small ring bowl, although this is side grain. It's kind of a rough sample. I don't want to get quite that deep. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and shape it a little bit. So we're going to round off this, the back side into somewhat of a bowl shape. Now you can tell from the, the shavings, these little fine shavings that, you know, how, how sharp that tool is. If you get sawdust only, you know your tool needs sharpening. It may cut, but it's just not sharp. And we know the old saying, if it's almost sharp, it'll almost cut. get a feel for what that thing's going to look like. Come in a little bit more. Kind of a little bit like a cold scoop up. Well, <laughs> that wasn't pretty, but I caught the shoulder. I should have known better. Catch the shoulder. Let's 
see if I got a scar. Yeah, got a little scar there. I might have to clean up. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and detail this a little bit. So I think to do that, I want to put just a little bit of a Still got a little round area here. Let me finish. I have to finish roughing that round, throwing it up. Okay, now let's mark the area we're going to texture between. We're just going to put a little bit of a ring here, a little bit of a ring there. We're just going to texture a little band in between. I'm going to use my Sorby spiraling texturing system and tilt this thing at a little bit less than 45 and turn the speed down below 400 and engage the tool anchor bevel catch the corner tool and then lift the handle and slowly bring it back and forth And we've got a nice little detail spiral. And then I'm going to use my pyramid tool to put just a couple of little decorating V rings here. Make that pencil go away. And then I think to decorate that, we're going to go ahead and use a burn ring. We're going to use a burn wire so we'll get the speed up a little bit. Reach across. Drop the handle. Certainly don't wrap your fingers around it. You got to have a handle on each side. Dropping that handle gives a little lot of friction when you got a little more surface, a little more hot wire surface. Okay, I like the shape. I, I like the decoration. Now we're going to start coming in here uh, with a parting tool uh, or a skew. I think we can probably do some of this with a with a skew. We're going to take this down quite a bit. We're going to come down right about right about here. And we're just going to peel this down. So, you know, skew will do that. Drop the handle at an angle and just take peeling cut. Not the whole width of the blade, just a little bit. Just bring it on down. Again, the the shavings give you an indication how sharp the tool is. Now, I showed you this nifty beating and parting tool we made a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to use that. That'll work just as well. Just drop the handle. Take a peeling cut. Now, I think we're going to round over, round over this edge just a little bit. All right, now here's going to be the challenge. This is going to be in grain. This is not a side grain bowl. The, run, the grain is running parallel with the bedway. Uh, normally, I, it's like hollowing a box. I'm going to have to think through this just a little bit. And I think first thing I want to do, this is going to be the spike. I'm going to shape this spike a little bit closer to where it's going to be. So we're going to come in here from the bottom. I'm not sure how thick this ought to be. I probably ought to get my wife's uh, ring. I'm just going to measure my, uh, I'm going to take my ring off and measure it. And then go just a bit smaller. Whatever that 
that size is. It looks like it's uh, about three quarters of an inch. So we're going to just take it down a little bit more. These, these ends have been rounded off so they don't grab. This I want to leave just a bit thicker. You'll see why shortly. Now, I'm going to use a uh, little 3 8 inch uh, bowl gouge with a very steep wing just to kind of start doing a concave here. It's got a very flat face, easy to get in there. We'll come back to that. Now, here's the challenge is going to be coving this out. And normally I like to cut from the inside out, but I think that's going to be a challenge unless I reverse the lathe. Um, and I think it's going to be difficult to reach across there because of this to do that. So I'm just going to cut against the grain the wrong way. So I won't slice fibers as much as I'd like drop the tool rest a little bit so hope is cutting on center and I'm just going to brace it with my finger and we're just going to ease it in with this detail gouge and we're going to come out into that shoulder and do that again Now, because this is so steep, this is almost an example of doing a tiny little bowl with a 45 degree bevel and it won't work. So I'm going to use a little steeper grind with his bowl gouge and come in. I've got to watch that wing though. I'm come back this direction. When I say I've got to watch that wing. What happens when I don't do this first before before I show you my lack of talent here? These wings are, are kind of brutal. They're not back as far as I like, so that's just not a really good tool for that. Um, so I'm going to go back to a just a spindle gouge and just kind of come in with a point, almost doing a little scraping. vibrating a little bit. I'm wondering if, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I've lost the bowl. Ooh, let's see. So, to deal with that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a bit of a bead here. We're going to put this in a chuck. I can tighten this down enough where it'll hold it while I put just a little bit of a bead here. Take this down. See if we can't get out of this dilemma.